So um, arthritis, uh, tendons, as I said, there's some really interesting stuff going on with concussion um, mm, yeah. about uh, uh, the use of a ketogenic diet and concussion. And um, I'd love to look into that more uh, from a diet point of view. So really, uh, you know, from a, from a sports medicine point of view, there are lots of areas where uh, – and the other interesting area is people say, well, you need carbohydrates to uh, – to fuel uh, to fuel the the body and 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 maybe at, a, at an elite level you do but uh, for for the average person who's running a marathon or doing a uh, doing an Ironman or something like that they can fuel themselves without carbohydrates because uh, we have an alternative fuel and that's and that's fat and ketone ketone bodies and uh, if you uh, if you don't take in carbohydrates your body can switch fuels to uh, to ketones ketone bodies hence the word you know ketogenic keto diet. And you can fuel yourself with fat. And we've all got plenty of fat to, to fuel yourself. So, you know, I've had people do uh, marathons and even Ironman triathlons on, on no food, you know, no breakfast and, uh, and just some, uh, some fluids during the, during the race. And, and they've been fine because uh, their body is adapted to using fat as a fuel rather than carbohydrate. Now, 